Hi, Michael Lake here with altobone.com. And if you want to hear some new music that I'm crafting for alto trombone, uh, put your email into my homepage, and every few weeks I will send you a new piece of music. And uh, I promise you it's very different, and you just might love it. And if you don't, I'll double your money back. <laughs> okay. So I'm recovering from some nasty oral surgery last week. You know, um, I, I never really thought about bone grafts and stitches associated with the inside of my mouth until now. Is it safe? Look, I tell you, I can't do it. <laughs> my dentist is not an evil Nazi. But uh, I can play. I'm starting to, to heal a little bit if it's easy. And this video is all about doing things easier, specifically about your jazz improvisation. You know, this whole thing started because I was performing a couple of weeks ago uh, and a local college band was playing right before us, right before we went on. And it was a good band, good players, good leader. And as I listened to soloist after soloist stand up and blow and, and, and play their heart out and do their best, you know, I had this overwhelming urge to take them aside and coach them on a few things that I think would make them sound much better with the talent and the skills that they already have. Because what I heard was very typical for young jazz players and for others who aren't, you know, as proficient with improvising as they might like to be. What I heard was lots of notes. There are, in fact, only so many notes the ear can hear in the course of an evening. And the players were also playing pretty far from the courts, you know, and not in a deliberate, inharmonic way. You know, they spent a lot of time getting lost and not being able to find their way back to the changes. And it's exactly where I would often find myself when I was a student at Arizona State. So this video is my coaching session. If I had that opportunity to get them all into a room and help them improvise a lot better. And this has nothing to do with practicing patterns or scales. Now my focus is on the trombone, okay? But everything I have to say about crafting a cool improvised solo applies to every instrument. But trombone players. Now, we play a very odd instrument, right? It's basically a glorified tuning slide. We don't have all the keys laid out in front of us like a piano player. We don't have the buttons and the holes to push like a sax or even three valves to push like a trumpet. Uh, trombone players play a very simple tube. And it's a very abstract tool for blowing jazz. So listen, guys and gals, starting out, you're learning to blow jazz at whatever age you are, I'm officially absolving you of having to play a flurry of notes. Now, yes, JJ showed the world that trombone can play lots of clean notes. Fontana and Rossellino showed us how those notes could be played faster and more intensely. Uh, Watrous did the same and he added another octave on the top of it. And now we got Bob McChesney and a few others that show us that the horn is capable of holding its own with these other instruments. But these are very unique guys with very unique skills. You know, they can make music while playing fast. Now, if that's your trombone voice, then great. But let me speak to those of us with a different voice. Because your skill as an improviser is not judged by the number of notes you play. I believe it's judged by the quality of your musical lines. And for McChesney, they can be one and the same. But speaking to younger players and less experienced improvisers, I want to coach you on creating a more musical result within the skill set that you already possess. And I think playing like this is probably going to be more fun and more satisfying for you as you continue to improve. Because listen, after all, Miles could play like this. But he also told the world that it's cool to play like this. So let's take a standard tune like I thought about you. The, uh, the key is E flat. Let's use an Abersoul rhythm track as our rhythm section. Uh, let's do a quick analysis of the tune because it centers around E flat major, but it also goes into A flat major, G minor, and C minor, and a few other passing chords. And knowing these simple things is very important because it provides you with what I'm going to call anchors. Right? The anchors I'm referring to are the notes 
and the tonal centers that are safe zones. Playing E flat, G, and B flat, they're pretty safe notes throughout most of this tune because after all, the melody is built around those notes. What I heard from the college students that I mentioned the other night is they were often adrift out to sea, you know, outside the harmonies, and, and not in a purposeful way, but in a I'm lost way. The tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. And believe me, it's easy to get lost and have a hard time finding your way back to the changes. You know, especially when you're nervous, you're standing up in front of a crowd, you may not know the tune very well, right? And the dialogue that's going through your head is like, you know, what am I going to play next? How do people think I sound? Where's the bridge? Um, you know, and at those moments when you catch yourself thinking that, just get out of your head and get back to listening to the rhythm section. Right? The question is, can you hear the rhythm section? But that's not my main point. I wanted to take these guys and gals aside and say, slow down, improvise on the melody, or play around some anchor notes. And when you're an inexperienced improviser, staying close to the melody is a good thing, right? Because you can improvise off the melody. Play the melody. It's not a bad thing to quote the melody. So let me try this. I'm going to play I Thought About You, and I'll purposely play around with the melody. I won't play a lot of notes. I'll play around with the rhythms a bit, and I'll play some passing notes. And let's see how this comes out. Now, let's say that you do stray from the tonal center, right? This is kind of the point of the video. You've drifted off the sea a little too far, and you've kind of lost connection with the changes, right? That's okay. At that point, first of all, you need to hear that you're, you're drifting. Second of all, find some notes that'll get you back, what I call the anchor notes, back into the changes. All right, so let me demonstrate that. And I'll try and make it obvious when I stray from the harmonies. It won't be in a hip way, uh, but I'll try and make getting back simple, right? It's not going to be elegant because elegance hard. Okay? Now, to do this, it requires that you really know the tune, right? And in an upcoming video, I'm going to coach you on how to learn a new tune so that you can find the tonal center easier and know how to get back, you know, like I'm saying, if you drift. Now, if you hear yourself heading out to sea, you know, return to the safe notes, to the melody, right? And to tie this in with what I was saying earlier about not needing to play a bunch of notes, notice that I'm not playing a flurry of notes, right? I'm primarily focused on playing a simple melody line. And yeah, at times I'll play a bunch of notes in my normal playing, but it'll be more for effect, right? In a deliberate contrast to the, the simpler focus of my normal playing, because that's my voice. Now, as you grow your skills as an improviser, you'll find yours. And I'm not suggesting that playing outside the harmonies is bad. 
but walk before you run. So, through these earlier stages of learning to improvise, develop your skill in knowing how to get back to what I'm calling the anchors, right, of the tune, the melody, and then, you know, be able to improvise off that melody. So again, I'm not saying you can't aspire to eventually sound like Ornette Coleman. But early on, get better at improvising around the core harmonies of the tune, more like this. So listen to your rhythm section, and be aware of your anchors. Be able to come back to the tune when you need to. And if I can help in any other way, let me know. Give me some comments on this, tell me if it works, and you know, best of luck.